What made you decide to come on and lead one of the teams this season? Um, I actually had no decision. It was just like they asked and I said absolutely. You know, uh, I love working with the contestants so closely this year. It's uh, It really is a different show for me. It, it, it does feel, um, I feel so much more involved in it. It's really awesome to help the kids out and to be on their side and have someone that they can go to and say like, this is happening and this is happening and have an opinion about it. So it's it's been a lot of fun actually. And you know, now it's uh, it's fun. I still get to choreograph, but uh, you know, I get to show a little bit about my work ethic. And you know, my, I'm really passionate when it comes to getting the job done. And I know I'm gonna do that this summer. Well, how do you feel your team did tonight at the live show? Excellent performance performances by the way. Yeah, I thought they were incredible. You know, I, I honestly think that judges are going to be harder on team stage because they ex the expectation is, you know, out of this world. And I think, you know, they're going to be surprised with what Team Street can do with choreography because they think they've never learned choreography before. So, you know, we're going to roll with the punches and, you know, we're going to just going to come back stronger next week. What, do you, what can we expect next week? Uh, you can expect a lot more performances. You know, I think that now that we're mashing up, I think that, you know, Team Stage is going to be great going into other styles, and Team Street might not be. So I think that's where we're going to kind of, like, surpass Team Street a little bit. And I'm doing the group number for my team next week, so I'm really excited about working with every single dancer. What do you think about Paula and Jason as judges on the panel this season? I thought they were great. You know, I, I think I think they're so nice and they really do care and they really know what they're talking about too. So which it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of fun to have them on. Uh, you know, I disagreed a lot with what they said tonight, but you know that's what we have. We we all have our own opinions, so that's what happens. Talk to us about the 10th anniversary of So You Think You Can Dance. You have essentially grown up with the show. Yeah, I pretty much have grown into a person, honestly. Like, I look back and I'm like, I was such a kid. I was 18 years old and I was like coming out and uh, I just think it's incredible that it's been on the show for 10 years. And, you know, we're excited. There's going to be some past before old favorite routines. I might be doing one, maybe the bench dance, maybe, maybe, maybe. So are there and is there a standout performance over the years or a dancer other than yourself yeah. that just has stood out for you over the past 10 years? You know, I'm, I'm a huge Melanie Moore fan. I, I, I still am in love with her, and she's on Broadway right now. And, you know, I loved Ricky and Allison and Jamie. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of dancers. I have a dance company called Shaping Sounds, and a lot of the dancers, uh, you know, from past seasons are actually in my dance company. So it's because we're all friends. We've always been friends before, uh, before the show and after the show, and it's like a little dance community. It's become a family. It is, absolutely. You know, we, we are a family. What you go through on this show is out of this world and it's crazy so it's just like you know there's a definitely a respect for each other and you understand each other like oh we have this unspoken language of so you think you can dance so that's why we're definitely so close how do you feel the show has brought dance to everyone on the national level i mean in comparison from 10 years ago till now yeah you know it's Dance d disappeared a little bit, you know, people said, and, you know, the fact that it's on TV and, and it's it's showing all styles. It's not just showing ballroom and it's not just showing hip hop. It's showing everything and kind of contemporary dance kind of got this life on the show, which was amazing. And, you know, we're, we're, we're storytellers and we're, we're sharing emotions and we're, sh we're sharing stories. And uh, it's incredible that I get to share a little bit of my soul every summer on TV because a, a lot of the pieces that I choreograph are, you know, things that are going on in my life. And it's, so it's a, a little bit, it's therapeutic to me. So it's, uh, it's, it's amazing that we get the opportunity to do it. Congratulations. I cannot wait to see what Team Stage does in the next coming week. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah.